Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I am just going to show uh, some of the mugs that I created from my silhouette using um, vinyl. Sorry about my fingernails. I've been too busy to fix them. Um, I used two different kinds of vinyl. Some from Vinyl Outlet and some from Cricut. And um, I will say that the Vinyl Outlet is better quality. It's way cheaper. It's like $3.99 for a whole roll. I don't even know how much, but it's a ton. Um, compared to, like, I bought some at Cricut for, uh, I think it was $12.99 plus shipping. So it was about $17. Bucks. And the colors were cool, but it's just a little thinner, and um, which equates to a little harder to work with. So I would go with the outlet, the vinyl outlet. Anyways, here are some Minnesota mugs. Um, the Loon is our state bird, so I put that on one side and then uh, type on the other. And I've got those two of them in the green and two in the yellow. And then I just found this really cool vintage um, poster online and used it for a tag. And then my stuff is on the back. Then I did some nautical ones because we do have a lot of lakes here. I just put it, um, emblems on the front. Or actually, you know, if you're right hand, it'll be on the um, outside of the mug. And then I first found this loon. It's a little more stylized. It's kind of pretty, but um, I don't know. I kind of just like the other one better. Um, both of them I found images online, and then I got them into my Photoshop. And I did a video on it, so I'll show that after this, how you can take any kind of a, like a line drawing image, I suppose it would be, and create a cut file for your silhouette, and I'm assuming for your Cricut. So now I will show some of my other mugs. Okay, I have some Mad Men style mugs. These are from the Cricut, and it is Suburbia, the cartridge. So I just made a few of those if anybody wants to uh, use them for the Mad Men series finale. Oh, I'm so bummed. I was going to make glasses, but I couldn't really find nice glasses at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> of course, I want to um, do the cheapest, not cheapest, but least expensive product or, you know, supplies. So here's, um, this is from the Cricut, and this is oh, Folk Art. I love, love this cartridge a lot. I use it at Christmas time. Oops, I didn't do both sides. Uh -huh. Some I did, some I didn't. Oh, so cool. Yeah, some I did both sides, some I didn't. I love this little hedgehog. Isn't that cute? And then a sheep. I think I did both sides on some because the first image I had was a little large. Like this one, you kind of have to go around it. And then I did a smaller version of it. So I suppose I should go back and do these, but I don't know if I got time or want to. Okay, then I have these. Shh, no talkie before coffee. And I thought of an image on the back, like I've got this stamp where it's a retro 50 stamp where she's, it's a woman with kind of a, it's actually 40s hairstyle and she's shushing. And I tried, I stamped it and tried to make an image on it, but it was too hard. There was too many pieces for, um, that were all connected. It's a long story, but it would have been impossible to put on a mug. I got a cut file out of it, but I just don't think it would work on a mug. Anyway, so I just have this on one side, and then I've shown this one, I think. Coffee, a mug, and a hug, or hug and a mug. And then a yawn is a silent scream for coffee. And on that one, I put the scream. So I would like to find something clever for these, but if I have time and think of it and find it, I will. 
So I hope you gave it a try. It's really fun, super easy, and all these mugs were a buck at Dollar Tree. So, you know, if I mark them up, I'm thinking $8 and see how that goes. That's a nice little profit. So thanks. For, oh, these are from my craft sale, by the way. Thanks for watching. Bye.